How is everybody doing? We are going to work on another attachment today for the flower mission. Let's get started. Before we really dig in, I want to say that I know a lot of you are asking me questions. Uh, I'm gonna answer all your questions. Don't worry. These are all the parts we're gonna need. We're gonna need two picture frames, three three by five axles, two 15 axles, uh, four of these little axle couplers, four blue uh, pegs, four black, or er, I'm sorry, that's six black pegs, four number three blue pegs, two of these weird uh, number eight axles with the stoppers on the end. Um, did I say three red axles? Uh, number two axles, two number four axles, two number eight axles, three number ten axles, three yellow bushings, two gray bushings, two of the tan gears, and two of these uh, peg hole axle hole combination thingies, and two of these axle 90 degree uh, perpendicular couplers. Comment below if you know what this is. I hate that I don't know technical terms. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, make the first uh, quick attachment plate. So I'm gonna take uh, the two fifth, number 15 beams, the four blue number three pegs, not a blue pen, and the two, uh, two of the three by five elbow beams, and I'm just going to uh, make this plate. We've made this plate before in the, uh, what is it, the fountain mission. And this attachment might actually look pretty familiar if you've watched that video. It's kind of the same attachment. Um, if you caught everything that I just did there, uh, great. If not, rewind, watch it again. I know I did that quick, but if you watch my videos, we've made that before. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is take one of these, uh, the, the last, 3x5L and I'm going to put two black pegs in the end of the attachment with the actual plate facing me. These things pointed away from me and then I'm going to snap this right on like that so it looks like this. Alright, so this should be sticking out. You should have a nice reverse staircase there almost uh, and I'm gonna set that down for just a second. I forgot to mention that we need to grab two of the uh, four by two uh, L beams as well. We're gonna need those in this next step. The next step is to take one of the picture frames and we're going to make the same exact attachment that we made for the fountain mission uh, with just one slight modification. I'm going to go ahead and take two black pegs. I'm gonna put them in the last hole uh, away from me uh, on each side of the picture frame and I'm going to put the gray uh, peg perpendicular axle uh, converters on and then put a blue peg in the end of each of those just like that and then I'm going to put the uh, next set of black pegs on the outsides of the picture frame farthest away from me, closest to the uh, perpendicular uh, peg axle uh, couplings, and then put these guys in the end of this like this and snap them in like this on each side. Let me do the other side real quick. Okay, so this is what we got. This is what we uh, are familiar with, with the fountain mission. If you didn't watch that, that attachment video, go back and watch it right now. Uh, it's a great video, really quick, really easy to build. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the number eight axles with the stoppers and uh, push them through there in the center and slide these couplers on so they don't wiggle around, so they don't go up and down. And 
we are ready to put this on the plate that we modified and I'm gonna put it all the way at the end of the plate. Okay, so I've got this on the plate and it's ready to go on the robot. I'm just gonna slide it on the quick attachment axle things in the front and uh, if you look it kind of is off centered a little bit it's to the side of the robot that's for a reason I'll show you in just a little bit so now on to step two of this attachment we're actually going to use this passive attachment with an active attachment we're going to use this gear that's attached to a motor in here uh, to push the large water into the flower pot uh, here we go we need a picture frame and all the rest of the parts the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, two axle couplers with one of these red number two axles and I'm going to put them together just like that and then I'm going to take one of these uh, dog gears I believe that's what they're called if they're not called dog gears tell me and I'll stop calling them dog gears uh, and with a number four axle, put it through the center hole of the picture frame and then attach the axle couplers to that inside of the picture frame. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side here with another gear. You don't have to do this, but it helps. Uh, it just makes things symmetrical. I like symmetry. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these yellow uh, bushings and I'm going to put them on the ends uh, just as spacers. Um, keep things where they need to be. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these red axle couplings and I'm going to put it on the end just like that against the yellow spacer. And then one of the number 10 axles and I'm going to stick it in the end just like that. All right, I'm just gonna set this down for a second and I'm gonna start making the second part of this attachment. And in order to do that, I need uh, two of the number 10 black axles and I'm just gonna couple them together just like this. And two of the number eight black axles and I'm gonna couple them together just like this. And I'm gonna lay them parallel to each other, each other like that. Uh, then I'm going to take the black uh, perpendicular axle connectors and uh, put one like that and one like that together with the number two axles. I'm gonna put them uh, perpendicular to each other so we'll have this hole and this hole running parallel to each other and then I'm gonna slide the number eight axles in like that and the number ten axle in like that and leave just a little bit uh, of room on the end. Make the same thing for the other side of the axles and slide it over and in we are ready to uh, add the final part of the attachment, which is the J beams. And uh, we need to make sure that we put them on a certain way or else the attachment won't work properly. So we need to make sure that we put them on like this. So this is parallel to this. And we do the same thing to the other side. And we are ready to put it on this other part of the attachment which is going to actually attach the robot just like this so this will move up and down i'm going to put it on the robot and it just snaps on to the front quick attachment i've programmed the robot just a little bit to show you how this would work i'm not going to show you my program if you want me to show you how to follow a black line and teach you that uh let me know in the comments below and i'll make that video but uh I really want to show you this right now, how this works. Let's see if it works. Perfect.
this is a really easy and simple way to do a really hard mission on the first Lego League mat. Uh, I hope you found this useful. I hope you found this helpful. You might have to make some adjustments to your attachment to get it to work for you and on your robot, but I hope you do. Uh, this is part one. There's more to this attachment for another mission that's really close, the fire truck. Uh, so stay tuned. Thank you.